Hey Navy Doc 5184 here and welcome to my next episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars. We are going into Season 1 Episode 4, Destroy Malevolence. And even though, yes, we are doing these in uh, chronological order now, so now I'm kind of caught up because I've already seen uh, the episodes Ambush and the two other episodes regarding the Malevolence. So now I am officially caught up in terms of doing these in chronological order, so we won't be having any more, I guess you could say, skipped episodes per se. But I'm not going to lie, I was very anxious to finally get to this episode because after seeing the last one, I think it was uh, Shadow of Malevolence, man, that episode had me so on edge and now it looks like we're in the, I guess you could say the finale in terms of the Malevolence saga and I, I gotta say, I'm very anxious to see what happens with it, what, you know, they finally get rid of it, I'm sure they do, uh, at least I hope so, especially in regards of knowing what to do uh, with the Ion Cannon and even how to, I guess you could say, counter the Ion Cannon. So, so many things with this that I'm really anxious to see what they do with it. I just can't wait to get to it. So, we are going to go ahead and get started with it. Uh, if you'd like to see a full watch along with this, that is available on my Patreon as well as uh, early access to this reaction. This will be available at least 48 hours before it goes live on YouTube. So if you'd like to get early access, feel free to check out my Patreon on that one. And let's go ahead and get started with the episode. What drives me nuts is as much as I want to see them destroy Grievous finally and get this taken up, it's like, plot is going to save him. Because he needs to be in Revenge of the Sith. It drives me nuts sometimes that <laughs> they make me forget about that. But the ship is so massive it can take all the fire our cannons can give it. We must summon reinforcements. She's busy with a fleet of Separatist reinforcements nearby. She won't be able to give us support until she's turned them away. Then we'll have to make do with what we have. Which, as we now know, is not going to be enough. They're not attempting to jump to hyperspace. Their hyperdrive must be damaged. This is our chance. All ships target the bridge. Maximum firepower. See, normally I ask how they get out of a situation, but there's a part of me that's like, are they going to blow this chance? Because, again, we know Grievous lives, so how does he get out of this? They will never capture me or this ship. Heading towards you is a very important galactic senator. With her as your what? hostage, they will call off their attack. Oh, no! Oh. We're approaching the system now. Oh. My goodness. This isn't right. That's a droid warship. We're in the middle of a battle. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's how he gets out of this. This is Senator Amadala. Padme? What are you doing out here? I was sent on a special mission. Activate the tractor beam. Darn, nabbit! Have we been hit? I'm afraid it's much worse than that. Oh, no. I will not be made a separatist bargaining ship. Continue your attack. You must destroy this monstrous ship. Admiral, order our ships to stop firing. Oh boy. See, now the thing is, I wonder if Obi-Wan senses at this point what's going on between Anakin and Padme. I see now this whole thing was a trap, and I'm afraid I walked right into it. Sir, the Republic cruisers have halted their attack. Jedi are so predictable. Oh, you don't even understand the magnitude of this one. Of course, Palpatine would do this. This ship must be returned to Count Dooku intact. There is no room for failure. Railjet departing. Remember what I said earlier about how I was asking, you know, how are they going to get out of this in regards to Grievous? I am now wondering that, about the Jedi now. Looks like the engines are set to destroy them. Oh, she said it for oh, self destruct. Hey, that's just rude. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I could do all- That's what you're doing with that thing. Oh my- 
Those droids have got to be... I thought Jar Jar Binks was bad. They're making Jar Jar Binks look competent, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. The enemy sensors are obviously damaged, so we'll sneak in behind them and dock at the emergency airlock. That's your plan. Just fly there, land, hope they don't spot us, and walk in the door. Basically. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Let's get going. Obi-Wan clearly sees that's not such a great plan, but yet he still goes along with it. And it goes to something that I said a couple of reactions ago. If it was any other two Jedi, I would probably expect total failure. But those two together are going to make this work when it shouldn't. The damage to the hyperdrive was not as bad as we first thought. Uh oh. We again I must inform Count Dooku. Stay here. Continue the search. Oh boy. So does that mean that they actually have some hyperdrive left? They're too busy repairing the ship. They don't have time to notice us. Subtlety has never been one of your strong points, Anakin. No, it hasn't, Everything but... I know, I learned from you, Master. Oh, if <laughs> only that were true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love their banter. I need to see more of this. It sounded like a ship docking at one of the emergency airlocks. Your circuits are loose. No one's crazy enough to do that. We do not want to be spotted. <laughs> uh, I knew it! It's them! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're receiving a transmission from inside the Malevolence. I believe it's the Senator. Are you alright? Where are you? On the lower levels. Obi-Wan and I are on board too. What? What are you doing here? What do you we think? We to get you off this ship. We just detected an unauthorized communication coming from within the ship. Oh, what come on. Well, we don't know. We didn't catch it in time. <laughs> okay, for a second, I thought he was about to destroy that droid. Lord knows he wouldn't hesitate to off one. He's done it before. This is where we're supposed to meet them. He's probably late again. No? have company of another sort. Blast them! Wow, that was like point blank. Okay, not really point blank, but still. They should have been able to hit them. Look, Jedi, fire! Oh, wait! <laughs> he, he knew! <laughs> I knew that was a bad idea. Well, at least we know not all the droids are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor 3PO. Uh oh. Fire! Oh, oh. Nicely done. Nice catch. I'll fetch the droid. <laughs> I'll fetch the droid. He must be talking about 3PO. Oh, the things you do to get me alone. Stop talking. Now is not the time, you two. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Anakin, I got separated from your droid. 3PO. Uh, I'll take care of it. Their hyperdrive is almost repaired. I'm already headed in that direction, so I'll make certain that the hyperdrive stays off. Oh crap, they're. Oh boy. Oh, I forgot that they were doing this. Someone stop this contraption, please! No, please. Oh! I did ask for that. Yeah, yeah, you did. Oh, oh. I was hoping he was going to say the line, but, um. Uh... Wow, are you for real? They really did that. They really did that. Not nice. <laughs> Playing bowling with droids, I love it. And now he's using their shield against them. Oh, 
Okay, that wasn't quite what I was expecting him to do, but. <laughs> that whole time I was waiting for Obi Wan to give the line, and it was Grievous that gave the line. I'm afraid Grievous is on to us. Yeah, we know this. <laughs> we'll rendezvous back at the twilight. The fleet must engage the most. Obi Wan. Uh oh. Obi Wan. What's wrong? They're jamming us. Yeah, I was about to say at this. I'm surprised they didn't do that to begin with. But then again, they probably needed initially to keep it open so they could uh, trace them. Is the hyperdrive repaired yet? It's almost done. Uh-oh. I'll give them the good news. Uh, 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 no, you won't. <laughs> oh, nicely done. First, we need to get rid of these droids so they won't know we were here. I'm gonna hotwire the ship. Give Grievous a little surprise. Okay. I guess I'll clean up the droids then. The droids are jamming our transmissions. We need to give him more time. I'm not sure we can. Yeah, you can. Trust me. So I'm not gonna lie, this scene right here kind of uh, makes it pointless for uh, Grievous to tell Obi-Wan that Dooku trained him in the Jedi arts, because clearly Obi-Wan could see that now. Hold the ship! Nicely done, Anakin. I'll contact the fleet. R2, release the docking clamp. Oh boy. So now what, though? They obviously did something to sabotage the hyperdrive. The hyperdrive has been completely repaired. Should we retreat to friendly space? Engage the hyperdrive. I'll meet you at our secret base in Sector 4. You heard the general. Ooh. Prepare to make the jump to hyperspace. Okay, so yes, the ship's probably going to be destroyed, but he's not going to be on it. Oh, Grievous. Just wait. Oh, I can't wait to see his reaction to this. But R2 scan of the enemy's ship indicates their hyperdrive is activating. Don't worry about it. What? Yeah. Tr trust him. <laughs> trust him. Uh, the Navic computer is heading us right into the moon. Uh oh Reset the Navic computer. Quick, uh, reset the Navic computer. Oh, so the hyperdrive was bit. Oh, I see. Have you made your escape yet? Nope. <laughs> no, reset it. Reset and... <laughs> General. Uh oh. Transmission has been cut off, sir. I think the general did it himself. Yeah. <laughs> All part of the plan, master. Uh huh. That was like Plan E at that point. <laughs> oh wow! They're really gonna end it right there. Oh, that's dirty. That's dirty. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was Clone Wars Season 1, Episode 4, Destroy Malevolence. And I'm going to say that was not the way I was expecting that to go down. But I'm not disappointed. I, I am not going to lie. Uh, this does make me wonder how in the world does Grievous make it to Episode 3. Because you know Dooku is not happy and will not hesitate to off a fool i don't care who you are this is it they don't give two rats about who you are you upset them you dead but somehow dooku must restrain himself for something it must be uh palpatine's doing in order to uh keep him from killing grievous because you know he probably wants to oh man the way it all went down though whew. If only Grievous was on that ship, though. But then again, that was... You know, I was wondering, you know, how are they going to do it and somehow keep Grievous alive? And that's how he just want, he wanted those Jedi and he was going to do it one way or another. He got off the ship just in time and um, leave it to their droids. I don't know what it is about those freaking battle droids. How are they that dumb? 
it had to, uh, that's gonna be something i'm not gonna say it's gonna bug me but it's just you look at that and it's just like how in the world do they put up so much of a fight being that dumb i mean between ignoring the one droid who somehow was able to catch on that somebody was docking on you know the emergency dock or airlock you got the three droids that thought they could jedi jump onto those little moving um train cargo things whatever you i don't know what they're actually called but they tried to do that you don't know what they're thinking you know the droids panicking when they realize that they're about to do a hyper jump into a moon and get destroyed it's like how in the world do they put up as much of a fight as they do granted it could just be sheer numbers that's the only thing i can think of because outside of a few people who are running the show they really have no business being as as formable as they are but i gotta say that was a satisfying conclusion to that you know definitely uh Padme, you know, definitely uh, made it a little bit more of a mess than it should have been. But actually, if you think about it, no, I don't think they would have gotten the hyperdrive fixed in time. So I can't really say Padme, uh, you know, aided in the hyperdrive getting fixed. But in a way, it did kind of make it work out a little better, I think, because, you know, they're still able to get the ship destroyed and all that. And it didn't seem like they were going to be able to do that initially but either way good lord almighty this show has been absolutely fantastic this is probably the first one where in my mind i was able to keep in mind future plot in terms of you know in terms of worrying about how someone's gonna get out of something like grievous and all that you know it's more like you know how does he somehow be off the ship by the time he gets destroyed but at the same time, it's like it didn't take away from the excitement of the episode. And I gotta say, the three episodes involving the malevolence have been were absolutely fantastic. I loved all three of those episodes. Like in all honesty, if I could just get those all and splice them together in kind of like one long episode, I totally would, because it's something I could probably watch on repeat over and over again because it is amazing the action that is involved with that. Um, even the first episode where I really kind of got to see Plo Koon a lot more, you know, and it's again just one of those things where um, I think this is only one of the first episodes I watched where I didn't feel like I got like this whole thing of um, I guess you'd say the clones being uh, really heavily involved with it. Actually, yeah, I think this probably is the first episode because I think all the other ones, you know, clones were involved somehow whether they are central in the plot or not, but you know, this one was all like space battle or on the malevolence between Obi-Wan and Anakin. And man, the banter between those two. Oh, just as I mentioned before with the clone troopers, knowing like getting to know them and then just making Order 66 that much more heartbreaking. I have a feeling it's going to do the same thing with Anakin because again, seeing the back and forth between him and Obi-Wan, it is as if they are just, you know, like brothers. You know just going back and forth it's like you know they got each other's back and they may get on each other's nerves and everything but man those two together are just i mean they're just unstoppable it's like i said twice already it's like with any plan it's like if it was any other two jedi i don't know how confident i would feel but obi-wan and anakin together mm -mm, you ain't touching them you are not touching them so and that's probably gonna make that part of order 66 much more heartbreaking because you're getting more into the relationship of Obi-Wan and Anakin as well. So, either which way, fantastic episode. Really loved how they ended that. Really looking forward to getting into the next episode. So, um, until then, just feel free to check out my other reactions to the Clone Wars as well as other Star Wars reactions. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will catch you all in the next episode.